Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great evening tonight. Welcome back to Gary Schumacher Exposes False Prophets here on YouTube. If, uh, if you're returning uh, uh, to see my show again, thank you for your support. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. Um, I need as much help as I can get to help spread the word out here about these false prophets. Today I'm going to do a little something different, okay? I want to talk about something that's been on my mind. And it's about these people that they're starting to call themselves non-binary. Okay, they are not men. They're not women. They're not men who think they're women. They're they, they don't know what they are. They, they think there's I guess they think there's multiple people inside them because they want to go by the pronoun we or they. Now that kind of is disturbing to me because the Bible says something about that, and I want to bring it to your attention. Okay, so today I'm going to read um, some of the Bible. It's uh, from Mark chapter 5, verses 1 through 20. And um, I'm going to switch it on over here for you. Boom, there it is. Look at me. I'm an editor and a host. So here it says, uh, Jesus restores a man, demon possess, uh, excuse me, Jesus restores a demon possessed man. Yeah, reading is not my uh, my first subject. So, so I'm going to start right here for when it says Jesus uh, when Jesus got out of the boat, a man with an impure spirit came from the tomb to meet him. This man lived in the tombs, and no one could bind him anymore, not even with chains. Okay, so that is one strong dude. Okay, for he had often been chained hand and foot. But he tore the chains apart and broke the irons off his feet. No one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and in the hills he would cry out and cut himself with stones. Okay, so, and that's what demons want. They want to just torture you and destroy you, you know, and just... And just they want you. They want to hurt you, and they want you to hurt yourself, you know, and, they, and they just wreak havoc on people around you as well. So, as I move on here, when he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell at his knees in front of him. He shouted at the top of his voice, "What do you want with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God?" In God's name, don't torture me. So, a demon feared him. He knew the power of, of our Lord Jesus Christ. He ran and fell at his feet. For Jesus said to him, Come out of this man, you impure spirit. Then Jesus asked him, What is your name? My name is Legion, he replied, for we are many we are many and he begged Jesus again and again not to send them out to the out of the area a large herd of pigs was feeding in the nearby hills the demons begged Jesus send us among the pigs allow us to go into them he gave them permission and the impure spirits came out of out and went into the pigs. The herd among the 2,000 in number rushed down the steep bank and into the lake and, then where, and where they drowned. Those tending the pigs ran off and reported this to the town and countryside and the people went out to see what had happened. When they came to Jesus they saw the man who had been possessed by the legion of demons sitting there dressed oh yeah because he would also run around naked so finally he put some clothes on uh and in his right mind and they were afraid those who had seen it told the people what had happened to the demon possessed man and told about the pigs as well when the people began to plead with jesus to leave the leave the region excuse me then the people started to plead with jesus to re leave the region as Jesus was getting into the boat, the man had run, uh, had been, who had been demon-possessed begged to go with him. Jesus did not let him. He said, go home 
to your own people and tell them how much the Lord had done for you and how he has had mercy on you. So the man went away and began to tell, tell in the Decapolis how much Jesus has done for him. And all the people were amazed. So yeah, um, so you're probably wondering how that pertains to non-binary. Well, it pertains to non-binary because as you can see in that story, this man had more than one demon in him. As a matter of fact, he had enough demons in him, okay, to fill up 2,000 pigs. So when these people are turning around saying, you know, we want to be known as, that, what is it, they or we? That's disturbing to me. And it should be disturbing to every Christian that these people like this want to be identified as not male, not female. They want to be identified as we or they. That's, that's kind of scary. What, what, are they, what does that mean? The, the Bible, Bible covers everything, doesn't it? So yeah, um, and there it is right in the middle of the, the story in, in Mark. So I, I just wanted to read that to you because that, that has disturbed me. You know, like I, I wanted to say, you know, like 20, I, I want to make, I have some notes here. So say like 20 years ago, if you're an old timer like me, okay, um, you, if somebody came up to you and said they wanted to be referred to as not male, not female, as they or we, we would think there was something wrong with them, didn't do, wouldn't we? But today, people who would think that way, they're because they're like protected now. People that think that way, they'll they'll attack us, you know, for thinking there's something wrong. These people have mental issues; they need help. And but now we we look at them as a some kind of you know person that's being shunned or anything like that. No, by not helping them, by letting them make it walk around and think they've got more people living inside them, they need help. They need spiritual help. They need mental help. They, they need a whole lot of help. And um, so, yeah, this, this whole agenda that's going on in this country, it's really got to stop. Because right here it is. Who is running around inside these people where they feel that they, they don't know who they are inside? It must be, it must be hell to be inside their, their head. Just like this poor tortured soul that Jesus had to help. But, seemed, but at the same time, none, nobody wants to talk about Jesus. Nobody wants to talk about God. Nobody wants to talk about getting these people help the help they need. And that's the sad part. Because they're so busy. Everybody's so busy choosing sides. You know, it's them against us and you gotta be on this team or that team. No, I'm not on any team. I'm on God's team. I'm not on any team of man. I'm on the team. I'm on team Jesus. And Jesus, what, what? If you give him the chance, he'll do the same thing he did with the demoniac here. He'll help. He's knocking on the door. Okay, we need to answer it, people. We need to stop taking sides, and help each other. That's important. Now I know I'm probably going to get beat up about this. I know. I'm, you know what? I'm probably going to get a beat up on both sides of this conversation, you know, um, because the Bible states that, uh, you know, certain things about certain people. And um, and it's true. But we're all sinners, folks. We are all sinners and we all need to repent and we all need to give our life over to Jesus Christ before it's too late. All right, I have uh, done my share of sinning in my lifetime, and I uh, and I repent for my sins, and we all need to do that. Nobody is above sin, but Jesus died on the cross for all our sins. But for God's sakes, if you're walking around and you think you got more than one person living inside of you, then you really need some help. And if you're if you're if you're watching if you're one of these people and you're watching this video tonight, please. Turn your life over to Jesus Christ. Go to your minister. Go to your priest. Go to your rabbi. Go to anyone and talk about this. Okay? And maybe get some mental help as well because you really need it. 
this is because the society today they're just okay with everything and it's and it's just not that way there are people out there that are in dire need for help and the suicide rate is skyrocketing and you know we there's people that need help need God's help because they're broken in spirit so yeah this is a tough subject for me I uh I just want to uh I want to pray for every one of them because if you got more than one person living inside you you got a lot of you got a lot to atone for so I want to say a prayer right now I pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit dear Lord in heaven please help these people if they're possessed or they're mentally ill please give them the help that they need this world has got a lot of problems right now and it's it's getting worse every day the book of revelations is coming true page by page day by day and please lord help guide these lost sheep back on the narrow path to righteousness because the road to destruction is wide but the road to salvation is narrow and few will find it. I pray to you, Jesus, help these people find it. Help us all find it. And I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, folks. That'll do it for today. God bless you all. And thank you. Good night.